Yet another astonishing and unforeseen forecast has emerged regarding the impending showdown between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, slated for July 20th. This time, it emanates from none other than Joe Rogan, who exudes a profound confidence in his assertions. Drawing heavily from his past conversations with Mike Tyson on his show, Rogan's prognostications carry a weighty certainty. Amidst the global buzz surrounding the impending showdown between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, Joe Rogan, renowned UFC color commentator and podcaster, has stepped into the prediction arena. With insights that promise to ignite minds, Rogan delves into the highly anticipated clash involving the American boxing icon and former world heavyweight champion, Mike Tyson. Joe Rogan delved deeply into the forthcoming match, yet his attention was equally captivated by Tyson's recent sparring session, which has been generating buzz across various social media platforms in recent days. From Rogan's impassioned remarks, one wouldn't need to be a researcher to gauge his profound admiration for Tyson. This sentiment was underscored by Rogan's audacious prediction that Mike Tyson is timeless, retaining the same aura of terror and ferocity he possessed three decades ago at the peak of his career. It was a daring assertion, delivered with unwavering confidence, in stark contrast to the skepticism expressed by many other boxing experts. Rogan couldn't help but feel sympathetic towards Jake Paul as he contemplated the immense risk he was taking by stepping into the ring with Mike Tyson. While Rogan acknowledged Paul's boxing abilities, he couldn't shake the feeling that Tyson was simply out of reach for him. Rogan pondered why so many underestimated Paul, often advising others to disregard his YouTube background and view him as they would any other boxer. He believed there was something to be learned from Paul's journey. Despite his origins in online content creation, Rogan urged, forget that Jake Paul is a YouTube sensation and witness his skills in the ring. The kid can definitely fight. Rogan proceeded to highlight key moments from Jake Paul's bout with Tommy Fury as a testament to Paul's boxing prowess. The close match against an undefeated boxer like Fury showcased Paul's skills effectively. Rogan then raised a significant question to Jake Paul regarding his decision to face the formidable Tyson. He praised Tyson's remarkable talent in the boxing arena and emphasized his enduring potency despite the considerable 31-year age gap between him and Paul. Rogan also lauded Tyson's rigorous training regimen, likening it to that of a dedicated trainer guiding a protege. Regardless of Tyson's age, Rogan emphasized his enduring stature as a force in the sport, noting his consistent training under the tutelage of Rafael Cordero, a respected figure in MMA who operates King's Mixed Martial Arts. Witnessing Cordero holding the pads for Tyson, with Tyson's powerful strikes resembling divine force, Rogan marveled at Tyson's ability to still pack a punch. Reflecting on the sparring footage, Rogan conveyed to Tyson that he sensed more than mere exercise. There was a palpable intensity, a readiness for combat. The sight of Tyson training with Cordero, delivering relentless body shots and hooks, spoke volumes about his preparation for battle. Rogan's reaction upon watching the video was immediate recognition of Tyson's seriousness and dedication to his craft. He drew parallels to Mike Tyson's final bout four years back, where he faced Roy Jones Jr. With admiration, he noted the remarkable technological advancements in recovery methods utilized by Tyson and his team. These cutting-edge tools, he speculated, would likely be employed once more, enhancing Tyson's performance. Rogan confidently predicted Tyson's triumph, attributing it to a combination of hormone therapy, vitamins, and advanced recovery techniques such as electrical muscular stimulation. Reflecting on Tyson's preparation for the Roy Jones fight, he marveled at the state-of-the-art scientific approach employed. Age notwithstanding, Rogan emphasized Tyson's enduring capability to inflict significant damage in the ring. Rogan held Mike Tyson in such high esteem that he worried Jake Paul might be starstruck upon facing him in the ring. He believed Paul would truly grasp the gravity of the situation when confronted with Tyson's formidable presence and realized he was squaring off against the legendary boxer. As Tyson gracefully moved, weaving and bobbing, Rogan anticipated Paul's moment of recognition. Reflecting on Tyson's astonishing speed and power despite his age, 
Rogan showcased footage to underscore Tyson's enduring prowess. Recalling Tyson's bout with Roy Jones Jr., Rogan expressed a sense of frustration, suggesting that an agreement had constrained Tyson from delivering his full force upon Jones's face. It was clear that Tyson directed the majority of his punches towards Jones's body, with only a few exceptions. It's remarkable how Tyson, at 55, still possesses formidable power, although his speed remains impressive as well. Rogan couldn't help but wonder if there was an agreement between Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. to avoid punches to the face, given that most of Tyson's blows targeted the body. It's notable to recall that Joe Rogan delved into the intricacies of Tyson's journey quite some time ago when he welcomed the former American boxing professional onto his renowned show, The Joe Rogan Experience. Their conversation extended to various facets of Tyson's life, which appeared closely linked to his comeback to the ring at that time. Surprisingly, Tyson continues to draw motivation from those revelations to this day. What was once merely a discussion has now assumed greater significance, offering deeper insights into many of Tyson's present choices and endeavors. It shed light on the genuine reasons behind Mike Tyson's return to the boxing arena for his exhibition bout with Roy Jones Jr. four years ago, as well as his upcoming match against Jake Paul on July 20th. Joe Rogan repeatedly probed Mike, delving into profound inquiries and seeking revelations, among them was the curiosity about Mike Tyson's decision to train with Rafael Cordero, despite previously expressing a reluctance to exercise, citing concerns about inflating the ego. Tyson elucidated his dedication extensively, revealing a depth of hunger and passion for boxing that remains truly staggering. His relentless commitment to the sport must have deeply influenced Joe Rogan's recent reflections on Tyson's remarkable personality, strength, and skill in the ring. Let's delve into that further. Tyson embarked on a journey, sharing insights into his renewed commitment to training and the resurgence of his boxing career. He found himself drawn back to the gym after realizing he was putting on excess weight. Amidst his weight loss regimen, he heeded the advice of trusted confidants who suggested lucrative matchups to capitalize on his skills. Reflecting on his intense sparring session with Rafael Cordero, Mike Tyson shared insights into its grueling nature. He recounted with a hint of seriousness how that mere 30-second video left him bedridden for a week. It was a stark reminder of the gravity of the task at hand. Tyson's experience underscored the harsh reality of the sport he once dominated. In just half a minute, all the anguish and hardship of boxing came flooding back, serving as a stark reminder of why he left the ring in the first place. That initial experience marked their first attempt to return to the activity. However, it quickly turned into a painful ordeal. He found himself confined to bed, incapacitated by sciatica. The agony was so intense that he needed medical intervention involving shots and electrical stimulation just to regain mobility. As tears streamed down his face, he pondered why he persisted despite the obvious signs of quitting. Yet fueled by ego, he pressed on. In a subsequent conversation with Joe Rogan and his audience, Tyson shared insights into the technological advancements that aided his recovery. These revelations left Rogan convinced of the efficacy of such aids, especially in his upcoming match against Jake Paul. As Tyson embarked on his training journey anew, he opted for a gradual approach, easing into it with caution. Soon his curiosity led him to explore unconventional methods like cryotherapy, stem cell research and various therapies delving into realms of knowledge previously unknown to him. The allure of hyperbaric chambers and other innovative tools fascinated him deeply. Reflecting on those early sessions, Tyson candidly expressed, I'm beginning to feel the vigor returning. It's intriguing how one can feel primed for action, only to be humbled by the intensity of real combat, as experienced when facing Raphael's relentless punches. Suddenly, the illusion of being in peak condition dissipates, replaced by the stark reality of physical exertion. Progressing through rounds of training, from rope jumping to sparring, evokes a distinct shift in mental preparedness, highlighting the multifaceted nature of athletic conditioning. 
During their conversation, Joe Rogan inquired about Tyson's preparation timeline for his bout against Roy Jones Jr. Tyson revealed that he dedicated a solid seven months to training for that fight. Considering the magnitude of his upcoming match, it's reasonable to anticipate a similar time frame for his current preparations. I'm not too far off from my fighting form. It's August now and I've been grinding since April. By the time November rolls around, I'll be primed and ready. Tyson confidently remarked. Shifting gears, Tyson casually mentioned the extensive support he enjoys, with many eagerly anticipating attending his future matches. According to Tyson, his supporters are not just ordinary individuals. Many of them are athletes excelling in various sports. This upcoming endeavor is poised to be remarkable as it encompasses not just myself, but a diverse range of participants. The inception of the Legends Only League promises to be truly breathtaking, particularly with the involvement of esteemed figures like himself and Roy. He eagerly anticipated the inclusion of athletes from every realm, fostering a convergence of talent and belief. This collaborative effort, born from shared vision and determination, was bound to transcend boundaries and captivate audiences across sports such as baseball, basketball, and tennis. As the showdown with Jake Paul looms, anticipation builds for the appearance of his renowned supporters and fellow Legends Only League members ready to rally behind him. Interestingly, during Mike Tyson's recent appearance on the show, Joe Rogan echoed a question that remains pertinent today. Why would a man in his 50s willingly jeopardize his health by stepping back into the boxing ring? Rogan expressed his intrigue, saying, it makes me excited when I see you training. I mean, you know, some people, everybody has opinions when something like this happens. When a man is 53, now yeah, 54, and he decides to fight again, as fit as you look, why not? Why not? You can do whatever you want. Why can't you? If you can go bungee jumping and ride a bull, then why not? Tyson's response carried the weight of a perfect comeback, tailored for those skeptics casting doubt on his upcoming bout against Jake Paul in July. He embraced the mantra, impossible is nothing to illustrate his determination. Reflecting on past achievements deemed impossible, he emphasized the boundless nature of human potential. Despite acknowledging occasional disbelief in his own vigor, he affirmed his readiness for the challenge ahead. Tyson juxtaposed the intensity of his training, symbolized by a hefty 200-pound bag, with the stark reality of the boxing ring. Drawing from experience, he highlighted the disparity between gym sparring and the electrifying atmosphere of a professional match. Confident in his ability to navigate the pressures of competition, Tyson remained steadfast in his identity as a seasoned fighter. It's imperative to embrace doubt. Without it, you're bound for turmoil. That sense of uncertainty is crucial. He expressed his delight in being back in the ring, eager to compete once more. This new chapter in his life is exhilarating, albeit tinged with apprehension. It's enjoyable, undeniably so, yet there's a lingering nervousness as Tyson strives to make his return. He can't fully comprehend it, but the desire burns within him. It feels innate, as though Tyson was destined for this path. He concluded by highlighting the sacrifices required for his ring comeback, including quitting smoking to meet the demands of this fresh phase. Tyson has made a significant shift away from smoking altogether. It's essential to put a halt to it. Consider this, practicing every four years versus every month yields vastly different results. Mastery comes with repetition. Tyson considers himself a conqueror, having triumphed over his inner struggles and challenges. He said, Timing plays a crucial role in our existence. I firmly believe I was born precisely when I needed to be. Many struggle to overcome their personal demons, seeking solace in divine forgiveness. As the fight announcement echoed, Francis Ngannou was left in a state of disbelief, a testament to the monumental nature of the event. Standing by his unwavering commitment to the sport, Ngannou expressed his unwavering support for Mike Tyson, stating, of course I'll be there to support Mike. Reflecting on the age difference, with Tyson approaching 58 and Paul 30 years younger, Nyanu admitted to moments of contemplation, yet he remained confident in Tyson's capabilities. Days End boxing analyst Chris Mannix shared his thoughts, 
suggesting that this fight could potentially attract the largest audience boxing has seen in years. Reflecting on Jake Paul's trajectory, Mannix observed, the last couple of fights, Jake Paul has been following the traditional boxing route. Now, with a strategic shift back to celebrity boxing, Paul is set to face Mike Tyson, a legend in the sport. Mannix, surprised by the turn of events, said, I didn't expect a Tyson fight to materialize, but now we're set for a clash between one of the greatest in boxing history and a colossal social media figure. Breaking away from traditional pay-per-view models, the Paul Tyson fight will be available worldwide on Netflix, increasing its accessibility. This move, Mannix believes, could lead to unprecedented viewership levels. He elaborated, broadcasting on one of the largest global platforms could transform this into a match like no other. I envision this could become the most watched boxing event in history. I wouldn't be surprised if this fight pulls in 100 million viewers. Beyond the actual match, the sheer scale of the audience is going to be phenomenal. Meanwhile, Mike Perry harbors an earnest aspiration to face Jake Paul in the ring, but expresses admiration as Mike Tyson secures a lucrative opportunity, potentially revisiting his days of triumph. Perry commented, I thought, wow, go for it, Mike. Grab that opportunity. At 57, Mike Tyson still poses a threat to Jake. He's definitely capable of inflicting damage, so it's going to be interesting to see if they really let loose or if there are any restrictions in place for Jake. Who knows? In the realm of combat sports, the notable age disparity between Paul and Tyson is a hot topic. As Paul enters the ring over 30 years younger than Tyson, the battle dynamics draw significant attention. Despite recognizing Tyson's imminent 58th birthday, Perry believes the legendary boxer's power remains formidable. Reflecting on the matchup, Perry observed, the age difference is obviously a key element. Tyson's bout against Roy Jones showcased that he's still got it, as if he never left the sport. He suggested that Tyson's best approach might be to launch an aggressive offense from the get-go, as opposed to trying to outlast Paul's youthful energy. If Tyson can pace himself with intermittent rests, assuming Paul withstands the initial attacks, this could prove a viable strategy. Perry noted, if Tyson goes hard at Jake right from the bell, instead of playing the long game, and takes his moments to recover while the younger guy tries to keep up, I can see Jake trying to evade him. Perry also commented on Paul's tactical approach to boxing, which typically involves scoring points while avoiding direct confrontation, especially with formidable hitters. Perry implied that Paul's previous opponent wasn't a significant threat, contrasting with the real danger Tyson's power represents. For Paul, this fight is a departure as he faces a renowned power puncher. Perry remarked, Jake's style is about scoring and dodging, especially when facing someone with real knockout potential. His last opponent wasn't much of a threat, but even at 57, Tyson brings a real risk to the table. This time, Jake's up against a true heavy hitter. Despite his own eagerness to step into the ring, Perry concedes the spotlight to Tyson, recognizing the magnitude of the legend's return. He said, ideally it would be me in there with Jake, but we're talking about Mike Tyson here. How do I top that? With the fight streaming on Netflix and all the promotion around it, it's a big moment for Mike. And honestly, it's bound to be thrilling, all thanks to Mike. The much-anticipated bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has ignited discussions, debates, and predictions across the boxing community and beyond. Joe Rogan's detailed insights and robust faith in Tyson's capabilities, despite the age gap and evolving boxing landscape, highlight the clash between legacy and modernity in the sport. While acknowledging Jake Paul's skills and determination, Rogan's observations underscore the enduring nature of a seasoned athlete's prowess, and the transformative power of advanced training and recovery methods. This showdown is not merely a fight, but a narrative-rich event that explores themes of resilience, redemption, and the relentless pursuit of greatness. As the world watches, the outcome of this encounter could redefine perceptions, inspire athletes, and entertain fans, leaving an indelible mark on the history of combat sports. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon 
so you never miss our upcoming videos.